okay so network diagram is a graph or graphical representation of activities with the relationship and these are drawn or developed to schedule and work out the critical paths or near critical paths of the project hey guys i'm isil khan and in this video we'll be learning the way or the method of drawing a network diagram of the project let's say we got the given table with activities predecessor and the duration and we need to draw or develop a network diagram for the given activities and durations all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is to draw a rough diagram or you can say a diagram by node and arrows as you can see the activity a does not have a predecessor but it has a duration of 10 days so it can be a start of the project like date okay so we can represent it with the node no issue and the next thing is you can see activity b and activity c these both depend upon activity a okay which means activity a is the predecessor to these both activity b and activity c so activity b and c can start once activity a is completed just like the same thing okay so we can do it like this we can draw arrows from activity a and then we can develop nodes for activity b and c and then again activity d and e these both depend on activity b so we can run the same thing from b okay it means activity d and e can start once b is completed all right and then activity f it depends on activity c so we can draw an arrow from c and of course a node for f and then activity g it depends on e and d like that so activity g can start once d and e has been completed you can say and then of course activity h this depends on the activity e and f so it can be the same thing as we can draw arrows from e and f and we can join with the node of h and then lastly activity i which depends on activity h and g just the same thing and this can be the end of it uh, you can say project okay or the end of the diagram all right okay so this is node and arrow diagram or you can say network diagram by nodes and arrows okay this represents this table of activities predecessor but the duration has been not added we can add it uh, upon the arrows or to the arrows but we're gonna do it in another format you can say just the format of this okay these six boxes this can be nine if you include float okay all right so in this diagram as you can see we got early start then activity and early finish let's start the duration of the activity and then at this um, below corner we got late finish okay so as you can see we can draw the same diagram which was not an arrow diagram it is the same thing okay as you can see this one okay just the same thing with uh, the activity and duration as you can see activity a does have duration of 10 days activity b does have duration of 15 days and uh, their predecessors are also given just the same thing it is the same thing okay as uh, we did uh, just few seconds ago all right now the next thing we're gonna calculate is the early start early finish and let's start let finish and then we'll move ahead to calculate the critical path of the project you can say okay all right so as you can see just look at what here we're gonna focus on activity a the early start of activity a can be zero okay just like that okay it, it can be zero because uh it is the start of the project so the early start for activity a can be zero and then the early finish of activity a can be the early start plus the duration okay that's good like 0 plus 10 and that is of course 10 again so the uh, the early start of activity a is 0 and when we add the duration then of course we can get the early finish of the activity a and that's called the forward pass uh, method or way you can say okay and then we can move these videos I mean this video 10 to activity B and activity C okay this this early finish of activity a can be the early start of activity b and c so we can move these videos who are there just like that okay it is the same way all right the next thing we're gonna add the duration like 10 plus uh, 15 that is of course 25 and for this row 10 plus 3 that is of course 13 that's so simple okay 
okay the next thing we can get is the same thing okay we can uh, just um, bring these videos the early finish for the early start of the activity D just the same thing okay we can uh, bring this 25 over here and it is 25 is the early start of activity D and this 25 for this E again okay this 25 and for the app activity we can get of course 13 is the early startup F activity you can say okay and the same thing we can add 25 plus 8 to get the early finish of activity D for activity E we can get the early finish is 25 plus 7 and for this one for the app activity we can get 13 plus 6 and it is of course 19 is the early finish of activity F all right next we got little situation over here as you can see activity g and activity h these both depend on two activities the activities with different early finishes okay you can say like if you focus on activity g we got 33 and 32 is the early finish of d and e so which one should be the early start of activity g of course we can take 33 okay because g depends on d and e and once d and e are completed then of course we can uh, start activity g okay so if we if we put 32 over here then of course uh, it is violation for the d activity okay so once d is completed then of course we can draw uh, i mean we can just work with activity g so we're gonna bring the maximum video okay for the early start were here like that and for activity h is it is the same thing okay from 32 and 19 we're gonna bring the the maximum video and that is 32 okay now we're gonna add uh, 33 plus 10 that is of course the the early finish of activity g and 32 plus 15 that is the early finish of activity h and it is the same thing over here okay activity i depend on the two activities so we're gonna bring the maximum video for the early finish of activity i and it is of course over here one is 47 and 43 47 is of course the maximum video so we're gonna bring that and 47 plus 5 that is of course the the early finish of activity i and that is 52 days okay so the next thing what i'm gonna do is to work out the late finish and late start of each activity and if we focus on activity i which early finish is 52 days that means its late finish can be 52 days as well and then we're gonna subtract the duration of activity i from the late finish of activity i which means 52 minus 5 and it is of course the late start of activity i which is 47 days okay and this method or this process is known by the backward past process okay all right and then if you focus on activity g and h their late finish can be 47 days as well okay just the same thing from the activity i which means the late start of activity i can be the late finish of activity g and activity h and then we can do the same process like we're gonna subtract the duration like uh, 47 days minus 10 days and it is going to be the late start of activity g and then 47 days minus 15 days which is the duration of activity h and that is going to be the late start of activity h which is 32 days and if we focus on activity e which is at the center as you can see and of course activity g and h depend on activity e that means it is receiving our uh, two, two arrows are been drawn from that you can say okay so uh, it means activity g and h can start once e is completed you can say like that okay so we got a situation where here which one late start should we take from activity g and activity h to be the late finish of activity e okay that's a good question actually so which means we got 73 days and 32 days is the late start per activity e so which one should be taken okay the minimum value should be taken like uh, 32 days can be taken in this case okay per the activity e 
to determine its late finish so this is uh, 32 days per activity e is the late finish of activity e all right and the next thing is the same thing okay per activity d and activity a it is the same thing like if we focus on activity a the late finish of activity a can be the late start of activity h okay like this one 32 days and the same thing over here per activity d its late finish can be the late start of activity g which is 37 days and we're gonna subtract the duration for each okay just like that if you focus on activity a we're gonna subtract 6 from 32 so we can get up course 26 and then again for activity e and 32 minus 7 that is 25 and for activity d that is uh, 37 minus 8 of course we can get 29 is the late start of activity d all right now if you look at the bottom like activity e we're gonna focus on this activity so it's late finish can be the late start of activity a which is 26 days okay because this is backward pass process okay our way you can say and then we're gonna subtract 3 which is the duration of activity c so we can get up course 23 is the late start of activity c all right and then focusing on the uh, activity b okay so which one should be its late finish from 29 and 25 okay of course we're gonna take minimum video which is 25 okay from activity d and e i mean from the late start of activity d and e we're gonna take the minimum video and in this case we got two videos which is 29 and another one is 25 so we're gonna take 25 and we're gonna subtract this 15 from 25 so we can get up of course the late start of activity b which is 10 days all right and then finally we got activity a okay here we got the same situation okay uh, which is 23 and 10 is the late start of activity b and c and we're gonna take the minimum video which is 10 of course so the late finish of activity A is going to be the late start of activity B and that is 10 days and then we're going to subtract the duration of A from 10 so 10 minus 10 that is of course 0 okay so the late start of activity A is now 0 that's it that's how we can uh, draw and develop a network diagram for any project this is the same way we can do okay and uh, this is how we can of course determine the early start early finish and then of course the late start and late finish okay and in the next video i'm gonna try to bring the 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 drawing or the method of drawing or determining the critical path of a network diagram so just wait for date and we're gonna determine the critical path in the next video thank you dears for watching see you next time